learning how to love and do it is my highest purpose in life. Oh, hello, lovely people. I'm Michał Kali Griggs from Tantra Movement. For those who don't know me, today I will speak about RBDSM, what has nothing to do with BDSM. Don't get scared. So RBDSM stands for R, relationship, B, boundaries, D, desires, S, safety, M, meaning. Safety means also sexual history and meaning also means morning after. So air, relationship. So you speak out about relationships. You speak everything about that. You do it in the tantric communicating way that one person is speaking, another person is listening. Talking person is talking from the heart. You don't have to think about the consequences. You don't have to think what you're gonna say about it. You speak about the relationship at the beginning. Yes? And then you switch the subjects and switch the roles. Give each other more or less the same amount of time. Enough time. Now in the details. This uh, RBDSM is a method, it's a model of the conversation what you can have before any connection in your life. Also to update yourself about the relationship. If there are some changes, you can use this model to share what changed and to see what's going on uh, along these different parts of it. So now in the details. R, it stands for the relationship. What uh, relationship you are in? Uh, maybe if you are not in the relationship, what relationship you wish for? What relationship? you have within yourself. What is the ideal of the relationship for you to be? Is it the open relationship or is it the monogamous relationship? Something between polyamory or whatever. What is allowance of your relationship? What your spouse is thinking about you meeting someone else? Is it uh, this relationship, this connection, what you try to establish now? Is it just about the friendship or is it just about being sexual with each other and not at all as a relationship? Or it is all included? Friendship, love, sexuality, everything. How do you see the relationship concept in your life right at the moment and according to the particular situation, particular connection? Anything what you want to say about the relationship, you speak out. B. Boundaries, limitations. All the things what you don't want to see in this connection, what you do not accept. Any moment, any time you say from the beginning, this is my limit, I don't want to go there. So any limitation along, so I don't like to be touched in my intimate parts of the body. Or maybe I don't like that we are friends outside of this room, of this workshop. I like that we keep everything confidential, discreet, and I don't want that people see me, you together outside, even saying hello. Maybe that's my boundary, maybe I want to keep everything discreet, I come here just for the session or whatever, and that's it. So any boundaries, any, I don't like that you may try to date with me, whatever, or you uh, try to make friends with my friends or whatever. Then you have boundaries about the sex, how you like to go, especially if you go more into the details, if you are just in front of each other, already in bed, and so you can establish the boundaries. Hey, I don't like to be touched here, intimate parts, two intimate parts. It's your boundaries and your limitation, and those has to be not crossed. Any boundaries you want to say about the way how you speak to each other, 
if you like to go into more challenging, maybe more kinky stuff, you talk about specific things, this I allow, this strength I don't like or whatever, this place I like, this place I know any specification about the limitations and the boundaries. You want to do build only friendship and no sexuality involved? Uh, you want to just meet on this level at that moment at least? That's your limitation at that moment. The limitations can expand when we build up the trust, when we build up the connection. But at that moment we can establish I don't want any sexuality involved, for example. Or I don't want that you will fall in love with me. You cannot control it, but however you can say, hey, don't express it, don't act on it. This is my boundary. Maybe I have my partner, I want to stay loyal, don't press that boundary. At that moment, yes, these are my limitations. You don't even push for it, you don't ask for it, you don't negotiate about that. These are my boundaries. And they are here to be respected and had. Maybe this would be the over of the conversation and uh, we will see, okay, you look for something completely different. But that's at least uh, you know what you are standing on and you don't not gonna cross each other boundaries. That's not good in any case. The next uh, letter stands for D, desires. A bit opposite to the boundaries. Uh, that means your wishes. What would you like to achieve through that connection? What do you like within those proposed boundaries? You don't ask for the things what go out of these boundaries. You don't push for the boundaries uh, saying, oh, you know, it's pity that you put the boundary on this because I actually I would wish for this and so. No, it's like the boundaries goes first, the desires goes the second. What do you wish from that connection? Uh, whatever it is, the connection. Maybe it's a uh, love, so you wish that you would develop it, you will grow together, you will go maybe into the tantric workshops and uh, grow consciously in the relationship. Do you like uh, to experience this on this sexual level and we go for it? Are we feel good both to go uh, to fulfill your desires? Or maybe this is going too much. It's actually rise some my boundary, what I didn't fall before. Learning how to make love for hours, that's your wish, that your desires, you would like to develop yourself into the country love making without losing and you wish to connect for that reason. It's what you are desiring. Someone who may give you the healing of the yoni or whatever, anything what you desire from that connection, you speak out. So if it's friendship, if it's one night stand, if it's long term relationship, potential situation, anything you wish from that, you speak out. Friendship maybe. And have someone to talk, to rely on, to have someone who you can count on. You decide to go and dance every day, every week. You desire to have a nice working partner with you could can share working skills and working time together. And you see where you are with, are you matching, maybe not, you, could you match, could you accept each other's desires, could you go along uh, and see how it would go. S it's for safety. And that's connected with sexual history. So what makes me say? What kind of protection maybe I would like to be used if we go into the sexual act? Do I have some sexual history of the illnesses, STDs and so? Are you healed? Do you need to see some examination for sexual diseases? Or did you have any intercourse afterwards with the casual people? Anything what requires safety of yourself and other person, you speak up. Also in other aspects, do you feel safe walking together by the hand and cutting each other outside in the public? Oh, you don't contact me on Facebook, don't contact me in a normal life because that's what doesn't make me feeling safe in my real world. So however it is, whatever you choose, it's up to you. If two people choosing for 
the same thing they agree it's only you who can judge it. anything would require safety for you what means safety what means safety in this connection you speak about Uh, thing is M? Meaning and morning after. For me it's the most important. What is the meaning of that connection? Is it to fund potential for a long-term relationship? Uh, maybe it's funding nice platonic relationship or maybe it's just funding some working partner. Whatever it meaning of this connection means for you, it's important. Are you here for friendship? Are you here for sexual connection and sexual experience on it? Because maybe you are here on holidays and you maybe have some other things left at home what you want to come back and you don't want to go into any deeper meanings. Or maybe you would like to meet with the intention of marrying each other afterward. You can still connect with these two opposite meanings, but at least you know they are not fake hopes, not misunderstanding. You conscious about that, and that you can decide actually. Oh, do I really want to go for this one night stand? If the person is so connected, do I see this connection as a realistically a fulfilling miming, or I may decide to give up before even going into it? This will help you to make good decision about continuing, getting engaged deep into it or just take it easy and not fall in love and then have broken heart. Also the M stands for morning after. How do you handle yourself and that connection after? How do you like to be treated and how you like to treat the person after that connection? If it's just one night stand or holiday relationship or maybe potential of marriage, whatever the meaning it is, it doesn't have to be just two options of the morning after. Maybe the wedding or maybe the shame to go away and never see you again. There are many other options. Maybe you take care, you keep the connection, however it goes. Maybe you still develop. Are you contacting each other? Are you stay connected and friends? Or you forgot about each other because this uh, brings too much sadness, longing, uh, and uh, you see not really uh, to uh, continue and it's too painful for you, maybe. So you speak up. Those conversations, uh, I wish uh, it helps uh, you to, uh, get to know each other, especially at the beginning. And when you know each other, that you already can go dive deeper. So it helps you. And you dive also in safe way. Also, uh, for the long-term relationships, uh, it may help you to check with each other how it is in your relationship. Of course, you don't have to talk about all the aspects, you don't have to update uh, about all the aspects. In a long-term relationship, you can do those talks with the regular setup time or any time when too many changes are happening. Uh, according to that, you can ask each other how we need some update. Use this for a um, tool to be more conscious, be more aware, more connected with each other. It doesn't have to be just about relationship and sexual. And you can apply this conversation into the business meeting, into talking with the employees. Of course, you modify it a little bit. Of course, you don't talk about the safe sex with your volunteers. You can use it, as I mentioned here many times, in friendship. I use it at the workshops, circumstances, when we get to know each other, introducing circle. So it doesn't have to be with one person? And it's a very nice way to get to know each other on the very essential things. We connect with each other on very transparent and uh, honest level. And straight forward, taking you deeper into all experience further on. I recommend this to use it, uh, use it, don't lose it. Thank you for your connection. It was beautiful to speak to you. Thank you for your attention. Aho. Uh -huh.